In this video, we're going to be discussing and demonstrating the movements of the temporomandibular joint. First, we're going to recap the movements discussed earlier in the tutorial. Protrusion is the anterior movement of the intraarticular disc and the head of the mandible onto the articular eminence of the temporal bone. Retrusion is the return movement of the intraarticular disc and the head of the mandible into the mandibular fossa, which occurs in the upper compartment of the joint. Depression and elevation involve lowering and raising the jaw, which occurs in the lower compartment of the joint between the intraarticular disc and the head of the mandible. Lateral deviation involves the alternating protrusion and retrusion of the right and left temporomandibular joints. Opening the mouth involves a combination of depression and protrusion, and closing the mouth involves a combination of elevation and retrusion. Here we can see protrusion, retrusion, depression, elevation, and lateral deviation occurring in the temporomandibular joints. Now we are going to see the same movements occurring between the skull and the mandible of the skeleton. We're going to start by seeing protrusion of the head of the mandible onto the articular eminence of the temporal bone and retrusion back into the mandibular fossa. Then we can see depression of the mandible and elevation of the mandible. Opening the mouth involves a combination of protrusion and depression which we can see occurring here. Closing the jaw involves retrusion and elevation of the mandible. Alternating protrusion and retrusion of the left and right temporomandibular joints brings about lateral deviation of the mandible. Finally, you can feel the anterior movement of the head of the mandible if you put your finger anterior to the tragus and open your jaw. That concludes this video on the movements of the temporomandibular joint. Thanks for watching.